See if we can force out the Barbarian. So the Battle Ram still breaks through. Both Barbarians lock onto that tower for massive damage. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm pushing my way back up, trying to get back up to being ranked. And we're going to start off here with Ram Rider. Even though we have Battle Ram, you can always opt for Battle Ram or Ram Rider as your starting play. Um, Battle Ram obviously would be more... Um, advantageous in that you can use it to get to your evil battle ram sooner we're able to peel off one of the barbarians um slightly misplayed but we're able to prevent all damage there so i'm not sure what this is but it's looking like it could be lava hound we're gonna go with giant snowball here and yeah he's got the flying machines um skeleton dragon so definitely definitely could be lava hound which there's the lava hound we're going to go with the Inferno Tower right here, and then we're going to wait like a couple seconds, and then we'll drop the Road Delivery. That should be able to pop onto everything and finish off the Flying Machine for the most part. Uh, flying Machine will still get one more hit on our tower, but it's not the end of the world. We'll go with the Battle Ram here, and see if we can force out the Barbarians. We're able to force out actually quite a bit still. Barbarian, or the Battle Ram still breaks through. Both Barbarians lock onto that tower for massive damage. And that was really, really worth it for me. So we're going to go with four row recruits on the left side. Continue the pressure, but also keeping him honest with two on the right. So our opponent opts for, you know, three going down the side where we have three row recruits. So let's get ready for some defense. I think if we can, we probably can avoid defending most of this. We'll go battle around. Uh, We'll go with Ram Rider right here, pull everything towards the middle, at least for a split second. And we're going to go with the Giant Snowball now, knock back the Flying Machine. We do get that uh, left side Princess Tower down, and we're going to go with the Road Delivery here. That should be able to finish off the Skeleton Dragons and deal with the Knight. So we're going to go Battle Ram right here, and let's go with four row Recruits going down the right lane and let's get ready for defense so he's gonna have to defend this somehow but the charging evil battle ram is gonna knock everything back next season unfortunately that is going to change but for the time being you know you can abuse it for as long as possible we have both evil barbs on that tower dealing massive damage for to our opponent we're gonna go poison right here for the mega minion that's also gonna come down does he not have balloon in this deck i'd be a little bit surprised we're gonna go with the road delivery here that should take out the flying machine and we'll go ram right here as well that should be able to slow down the lava hound we're gonna go inferno tower right here as well and ram right is gonna charge on through and that right there is gonna be good game well played easy match right there especially with the inferno tower that's where you know using the inferno tower instead of the tombstone definitely can help let's hop into another one here all right, let's end off with another victory. So our opponent hits a good hits us with a good luck. We'll hit him with a good luck. We'll start off with Little Prince here, and see what our opponent's got. So he's got archers. It could be Expo, to be honest. We'll go Road Delivery. Take out take out the archers. Keep our cycle up and alive. So we'll go with the Road Recruits here in the back. Ewiz, archers, and Valkyrie. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways, so let's get a ram uh, battle ram ready for the left side. And since he doesn't have Ewis anymore, I don't know what else he can use. But we're going to go with the giant snowball. That's going to allow our battle ram to connect. Two barbs and roll recruit on that left side. It's going to do massive, massive damage. And we're going to ignore the minions. And we're going to go Inferno Tower right here. So half that tower's health is gone. So... Mega Knight and that could be Ram Rider maybe. I don't know yet to be honest. So if anything else, we're gonna go with Little Prince here in the back once we hit 10 Elixir. And he's gonna go Valkyrie again. So he's got Valkyrie and Mega Knight. I feel like most people don't run Valkyrie and Mega Knight in the same deck. But that could just be me. So we're gonna poison this and then we're gonna go with the roll. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. I don't know what in the world some of these decks are, to be honest. Go Ram Rider right here. And that's kind of the best that we can do right now. At least we finish off the Valkyrie. Um, Hog Rider is going to almost take out that tower. We have to defend that. We'll go with the Battle Ram here. And it's just kind of unfortunate the situation we're in right now. We need to play a little bit less aggressive, I'd say. 
And then we'll go giant snowball. And let's get ready for one more minute of some craziness that's about to happen. So our opponent goes with the Mega Knight. We're going to go with Little Prince here. And we may just cycle this. We're going to cycle Poison right now. Kind of crazy if you ask me, but we're going to go with the Inferno Tower now. Use the Little Prince ability that doesn't come down, unfortunately. We'll go uh, Road Delivery here. And we're going to go with the Road Recruits. And we'll go Giant Snowball. That should be able to give us uh, the flexibility of, you know, one more push, I think, on this left side. The Dagger Duchess is really, really solid, I'd say. We'll go Battle Ram here. That should be able to push back the uh, Valkyrie um, at some point. And then we should, we should be able to go Poison right here. And I hope we're able to survive this. I don't know. It's a good game. Alright, and just like that, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Alright, hop into another match here. So our opponent's got the cannon here, which is good for us potentially because we have in we have the road recruits and we have battle ram. So if our opponent doesn't want to do anything, we'll cut back. We'll, we'll cut here and we'll come back when he does decide to do something. All right, so our opponent's gonna go with the baby dragon. We're gonna respond with our little prince here, and we'll go battle ram right here. We don't want to. We don't want the baby dragon to splash onto our tower. It looks like it's gonna be graveyard with the ice wizard, or just splash yard maybe without the bowler. So we're gonna get ready for that, and we're gonna go ram rider right here on this right side, and it doesn't get pulled by the uh, uh, tombstone unless he uses uh, the tornado which is definitely worth it for us and now that he's played valkyrie it's good time for us to go with the royal recruit and cycle and get evil royal recruits so unfortunately our battle ram is one card away else we would go battle ram immediately behind the three royal recruits here ice wizard should get finished up for the most part and we can obviously cycle a giant snowball here and we'll go with the battle ram a little bit um aggressive i'd say but we're able to force out the tombstone, and that should clear the path for our uh, um, for our Ram Rider. So Little Prince should be able to help take out the Baby Dragon, and we're gonna go with the Ram Rider now. I don't see why he would have anything else, maybe besides using Tornado. But our Ram Rider is gonna charge on through. We get a charge shot off, but we don't get a second shot. So I'm expecting our opponent to go with the. I mean, I thought he was going to go with Graveyard right there, but we're going to get four, row, maybe three row recruits left on that left side, essentially. I know he's got the Graveyard, and I know they try their best to not to use it unless they absolutely, un until they find a really good time, but that row recruit on that right side is doing so much damage, and I think even with the nerf next season, this deck is still going to be really solid. We're going to cycle the um, row delivery there. And because he chose to use his poison right there, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go Little Prince here in the back with the Ram Rider. And we're gonna go with Roar Recruits like that. And once the Ram Rider um, breaks the Tombstone... Oh wow, I was not expecting that. We're gonna go Giant Snowball right here, knock back the um, Evil Valkyrie. And we're able to get another Tombstone out from our opponent, so that's really good, obviously. We're gonna go with Ram Rider here. And I think we should be able to get a shot through. I mean, arguably, I should have gone left instead of... Or I should have gone right instead of left. But, you know, it is what it is. Finally, there is his graveyard. We're going to go with the poison on top. And that should be able to fully counter it pretty easily. And I think we're going to go Little Prince right here. And we're going to go with four roll recruits going down the left. And two going down the right with the Little Prince. And I'm expecting him to go with the... Um, tombstone at some point um, but that tombstone was poorly placed ram rider is gonna charge on through we'll go giant snowball knock back the valkyrie and just like that that right there is good game well played let's hop onto one more here